Begin assembling a simple distillation apparatus by mounting an aluminum rod at your bench using two hook clamps. Put the hook clamps on with the thumb screws pointing away from you so they're out of the way of the other clamps you'll need for the apparatus and the apparatus itself. Make sure they're firmly mounted because this is going to be the base of your distillation apparatus. Next, we use a clamp holder. There are a couple different styles of these. Clamp it near the bottom of the vertical rod and then put a flask clamp into the clamp holder. And this also needs to be firmly mounted as it's going to be the base of the apparatus. Next we clamp the distillation flask. Make sure it's far enough off the bench to allow for a thermal well and a jack. Make sure that it's vertical uh, so that when we attach the other pieces of, of glassware it works properly. Take a little silicone grease and grease the ground glass joint on a three-way adapter. Just a light brush of grease. A little bit applied with your finger. And then as we place it in you can see the grease go clear in the joints. It makes a tight seal. We next use a Keck clamp to attach a distillation condenser. This is the th smaller of the two condensers in your kit. Make sure you have the Keck clamp positioned properly. There's a large end and small end and push it on to snap and hold the condenser in place. With the condenser in place, we can now position a second aluminum rod, again using hook clamps positioned with the thumb screws behind. A second clamp holder is put in place. We're going to move that in a minute. And then a condenser clamp. Notice the three prongs at the end of the condenser clamp. Now we simply make a series of adjustments to position the clamp around the condenser. Make sure you don't move the condenser, move the clamps until you get them properly positioned and then gently snug the condenser clamp. It's acting more as a support here than a firm clamp. We use a vacuum adapter as an elbow at the end of the condenser so that our distillate drips into our receiver and that's attached to again with another Keck clamp. Take a piece of latex tubing and wet it with a little bit of water and slide it up over the tube litter. The lower end of the condenser gets attached to the cold water tap. A second piece of latex tubing is attached to the higher end of the condenser. And this is going to be the drain. In order to keep the hose down in the sink, we attach it to a glass stem funnel. This simply serves as a weight so that the hose doesn't accidentally come out of the sink. And then gently turn on the water you'll see the condenser fill up. In order to check the flow rate, we have to lift the funnel up and look at how fast the water is flowing in out of the end of the hose. Next, a thermometer adapter and the rubber gasket are assembled. And then carefully the thermometer is inserted through the rubber adapter using small pushes and get it roughly in position. The thermometer is inserted and then adjusted for height. This is critical. The top of the bulb of the thermometer should be even with the bottom of the opening into the sidearm. If the thermometer is too high or too low, you'll record an incorrect boiling point. We use a jack to support a thermal well. This allows us to adjust the heat quickly if need be by simply raising and lowering the jack. The thermal well is raised up so that it's in contact with the flask and then connected to the power mite 
at your lab station. Never ever connect it directly to the 120 volt plug. Finally, we insert a, distal, or a receiving flask, in this case a graduated cylinder, and we're ready to go.